Some breaking news, our Pinterest insider, a brave man who came forward to expose Pinterest's wrongdoing, has been fired. We don't know exactly what happened, but what we know is that his actions required courage and a degree of risk that he understood. One person can make all the difference. One person really can let people know. One, pe one person can bring transparency to big tech. In the coming days, we are going to release part two of our Pinterest story. Project Veritas was prepared. Pinterest also reacted to us. They flip-flopped. At first, our story about live action being placed on a porn list ban led them to unban the site yesterday afternoon before we published. Then this morning, they reversed themselves 180 degrees and blocked the site again. Their course of action is confusing at best. Interestingly, we learned Pinterest is changing their policy. We are updating our internal labeling to make this clear, quote unquote. No more will political sites they decide to ban be put on the porn list. When we asked them about the anti-Christian bias we discovered, they gave us this non-denial denial, some gobbledygook about them allowing people to freely post about their religion. The statement doesn't address the issues we raised in our report. Pinterest has not answered the key questions about their bias. Why exactly are you censoring Christian terms? And please explain what you were thinking vis-a-vis -vis your ban, your decision to unban, and then your decision to ban again live action. We ask those of you on Pinterest to please create a pin with a link to our video and ask them these questions. Stay tuned. Be a catalyst for change. Be brave. Do something.